Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run, where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only two members per uh, mission. Two soldiers go in and hopefully two soldiers uh, come out. Um, we are in month number 10, at the end of month number 10 to be precise, and this is uh, the first Guerrilla Ops. It had been a quiet month so far. We need to neutralize the field commander uh, to prevent a major breakthrough from happening. Two blocks for the avatar progress are certainly not what we're looking for. Side traps on this mission are psionic storm. Energy signatures at the mission site suggests very high level of psionic enemies present. Okay, and the losts are there as well. We are going to get, uh, get into the mission with Hawkbite, the psionic killer. Um, of course, we're going to take the mind shield, and we, he's going to be supported by data. I am even considering whether I should switch out blue screen rounds for another mind shield, which I just did. So this actually is, seems to be an appropriate reaction to psionic storm. So these two are going to try to to brute force their way uh, to the uh, to the commander to the general and actually kill it i personally don't like field commander missions all too much because it usually means you are on a pretty tight timer and at the end of the day it boils down to whether or not you are able to kill the commander and one problem with that is often the lack of damage and it uh, becomes very apparent if you only have two soldiers that you are often running into the situation of not having enough damage. So maybe we can um, steal a kill here or there. Usually we're starting concealed and by thinking about it, since we still have uh, the dark event go uh, going which prevents us from being concealed, we might even go in non-concealed. Which is a big deal for these missions. Because if you're not concealed, the timer starts immediately. And that's a problem. Alright, little bit of latency here. Yeah, see? Other than my computer having a problem of loading in. Okay, good. Well, I suppose it's go time. So far, I haven't seen that we've triggered any starting timer. So might as well go for an overwatch. And hope that we can get the commander somewhere. Matter of fact, we're going to climb up because I want to fight from up here. Moving on target location. I've got eyes on advent troops. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, moving in. And as always, that triggers a couple of loss. I love it. Let's see if we can get one of them down. He's down to 8 hit points, which means if we play our cards right, this here should be a kill. This here isn't so far dangerous as we are moving very far in, and I don't want to trigger another pack. 
So maybe we're just moving to here. I really don't see much that they can do other than stasis. Alright, we're going to parry. The losses are not a problem because the losses will effectively just run into us. Mind control is not a problem because we're immune. Stasis is a problem. You can't be immune to stasis. Well, but now it's their problem because the lost code might as well just go for... for the enemies. Come on. Well, of course, they aren't. So we're giving ourselves a protocol for threat assessment. That means we do have an overwatch shot. And let's take a look here, okay? So we're still okay on the ammunition. Meaning this here will be good. If we take one more shot, we still have enough for an overwatch. So this here is a kill. And we still have an overwatch left over. That's a kill. Thanks to Bladestorm. Or in his case, a sustenance. And the chosen ones should all just die. Unfortunately, she picks the one that is the, the actual only one that wouldn't be able to attack us. So that's a bummer. Overwatch and Overwatch. This guy is going to die. The losses are not so much the problem, to be honest, even if they come in larger swarms. Let's grab the loot. Advanced scope and the data uh, pet. That's not too bad. More loss. You know, I'm actually quite happy uh, that uh, we're almost exclusively seeing loss. I saw some um, sectoids here, which is great. Moving up to the other side. And you know, Hogbite, I don't know. We could position him here. Like, what's his damage? 8 to 9. Okay, any of them with more than 8 hit points. Only the guy with 13 hit points. But that's fine. Hogbite can move here. And we're just going to wait for all of them to approach us. Should be pretty much a massacre. These are the sectoids that I was talking about. None of them uh, are the actual commander. Would have been nice to have a sectoid commander for once, because those guys usually are having a vulnerability against melee attacks, so it's even more fun to to use uh, Hogbite in order to hunt them down. Hogbite can one-shot them quite easily. 
So the Lost are now running towards Hogbite. And there we go. Bam, bam. He's just flailing them. <laughs> and with their melee vulnerability, uh, they are taking even more damage. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, let's kill a couple of those. Data is getting a couple of kills here, I like it. I'm saving one more shot for now. Bring it on, bring it on. We have a very solid party here. Lightning hands to get the sector down. And then let's just clean up a couple of those guys here. Cool part with Between the Eyes is as long as we are having 100% shots, we're not even using ammunition. All of these here are free kills. And it's good because Magister, um, Hogbite of course, needs to level up. I want him to be a colonel. Good. So now we only need to kill the sector. It. And there is some extra damage spillover for the other two. It's fine. We can just stand here and parry. And data is going to reload. It's all good. Okay, so this guy is dead already. It's just a display error. We just killed two with Bladestorm. Okay, moving up. <laughs> okay. Hello there. All right. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a gatekeeper to be honest. Uh, but now that we're talking about it, I think we need to go in. Well 
I mean, you know, we could, I suppose, go away. Um, or... Or we're giving a threat assessment to him. As well as a parry, which means realistically what's going to happen. Uh, the eye is going to uh, use its its ability to resurrect everyone here, right? Uh, the gatekeeper will uh, use its gateway to get back all of uh, these and turn them into zombies, which is a problem. I'm not going to deny that. Lost missions with the gatekeeper are always a problem. So we might even end up taking some damage there. One of the... Um, Sectors will try to will try to use its mind spin on us, which will not work, and the other one will shoot at us. So instead, let's give ourselves a protocol and threat assessment, and we're going to parry. The armor is just too much. Mind spin? Yep. Yeah. Alright, ignores it. Perfect. Let's shred the gatekeeper a bit. All right, let's go, come on. Ah, too bad. I want to get uh, his armor down just a little bit. Okay, that's going to be a kill, which means we're just firing the pistol to Increase our damage. Wow. I hate the defense of the gatekeeper. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? Alright. Apparently can't um, go for that. Should have aimed for the sector, by the way. Another blade storm. The seven armor is the is the biggest problem at the moment. I don't mind the loss, as, these, uh, as long as some of them will go for the enemies. I'm actually fine with it. This here should kill the sector. Right 
And I'm okay with parrying. Hopefully... Hopefully the um, gatekeeper will continue to uh, to just attack the lost ones. It's probably the wisest decision. We need to make sure that we're being safe. And this unfortunately is a problem. So let's just kill this lost here real quick. Didn't want it to ambush us. Let's reload, and we can still move up next turn. There's the blade storm. Gosh, we haven't even dealt damage to its armor. But so far, it has used none of its abilities, which is very strange. Okay, so far so good. The loss still ain't got shit on us. Okay, come on, please. Nice, look at that. Beautiful shred. So let's get rid of some of the loss, at least. The ones with a high hit point pool look like a decent start. Very good. The other two are fine. Now... It seems we have problems hitting the gatekeeper. Finally! I think we're still not quite capable of killing it. Although, I mean, we're getting a hit and a blade storm next turn. So there's a high chance that we're killing it now. Oh. The moment when you realize that the gatekeeper wasn't even the boss. <laughs> this is somewhat messed up, guys. All right, let's go, baby. We're probably going to eat a grenade. We're most likely going to eat a grenade. Uh, the captain will throw one. Okay, interestingly enough, he did not have one. Now 
Nice little pistol shot to soften him up. Alright, he's disoriented. I like it. And we can just move out and reload. Sounds like a pretty solid mission. <laughs> I wasn't aware that uh, that we wouldn't have a timer. Well, without a timer, of course. So that was a pretty solid mission. Not sure why the gatekeeper didn't really do anything. I mean, on the other hand, it couldn't have uh, hurt us, but still. You might as well want to try using your abilities. Hundred forty kills. Holy moly. Hogbite kills 14 enemies per mission on average. Think about that. <laughs> That's a lot. On average, every single mission, he kills 14 enemies. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. New orders, Commander? Oh yeah, let's build some weapons, baby. So we can either take the storm gun, which I would think is a good idea. The normal pistols wouldn't be bad either. Let's start with the storm gun because that's such a no regret update. Might as well take the pistols. The gremlins could be a pretty decent upgrade. But we could also wait until the next autopsy and just get Gremlin Mark III. Yeah, we don't need the bullpups. I think the beam pistol upgrade is really good. We might want to take that. The other alternative for our supplies could be... to go for wrath suits, but they are too expensive at the moment. I like them. Hello, Commander. Yeah, let's go for the pistols. That way, all of the pistols and not just uh, the special alien pistol uh, will have the highest grade. Let's continue making contact. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. It certainly is impressive looking, if nothing else. Although I am still not entirely sure what the aliens hope to achieve. That's cool. I like uh, the melee upgrades. Also. Oh, nice. Plasma Lance inspired. Thank you. That's great. Going to take that. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Both, uh, both the fusion blade as well as the fusion axe. In terms of infirmary, it feels like the ones that would uh, need the negative trait removal are still not available. Edgar Allan Poe and Outrider certainly need it, Renman certainly needs it, and Roby 
has just gone through it. So these three here would need it. On the upside, we're almost done with bond training, which is good. So we get the next level for the bonds. <laughs> the shows no longer suffer from any weakness. Great. Okay, we just got level three bonds with Outrider and Edgar Alien Poe. That's that's phenomenal. I like it. Level three bonds are OP. So we should definitely follow up on that. I know Hogbite and Roby can probably increase theirs as well because they were just on a mission together. So that's probably the next thing we uh, should consider. One of the one of the ideas that I'm toying with is we still could go for that facility and destroy it. which would deal the ma a major blow to the aliens once again. We would get rid of one bleep and we would start um, we would start an alien ruler, but I don't know which alien ruler we would actually start with. So hmm. I, th I still think it's worth it. If worse comes to worst, uh, we need to just evac uh, the the mission. So this one here is actually quite straightforward, and with only Altrana and uh, Edgar Alien Poe, we should be able to pull this off because Altrana will just start to infiltrate. Wait a second, one thing. One wait a second. Not so fast, Psyche, not so fast. Let's look at the running. Let's look at the running dark events real quick. Uh, high alert. Yeah. No concealment at the start of the mission. Nope, thank you. We're not going to do the... Um, the the entire mission because no concealment means also for Eltrana that she loses one of her charges of the Reaper ability right away and that's not clever at all. I think we're fine. We're probably not getting the defense metrics before we're being shot down. Yeah, uh, see. All right, there is the defense mission that I was talking about earlier. It is what it is. Let me set everything up and we're going to defend the Avenger for the second time. This time the Warlock attacks and I'm more than eager to pay back. This guy is getting on my nerves, like seriously. Um, thank you for watching. Other than that, leave a comment down below and give it a thumbs up. We see each other in the next mission. Have a great day. Bye-bye.